are required to do, but the Holy Spirit helps you to become. Yes, amen. And what is our how? What what you to become like ATB governor or uh, uh, like like other your idols? No, no. like Christ. Amen. As Jesus says, so I am in this world. It is no longer I, people, that lives in this body. Christ lives in me. Say it always because your body will listen. I tell you, the rest of your concern, your circumstances, the Holy Spirit will work for your benefit, of course. Amen? Amen. So, first Corinthians. Okay, okay. Another one. Here is the presence within you. Okay, the presence within us. 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Okay? Sinasabi dito, don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Alam niyo ba yun? Kumapayag ba kayo? Yes. Yes. Kumakontra ba? Ano kuma? Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit since you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and now you become a child of God and now you become a believer. Therefore, your body becomes the body of the, uh, the temple you become the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you. It was given to you by God. Our body is given by God. Hindi lang ang mga kulang natin. Binumuka na buka kahit ayaw nila ang gusto nila meron kang purpose sa buhay. Seek that purpose. Hindi trabaho? Okay, I will plan for my future. Let the Lord, the Lord has already had plans. All you need to do is that seek. And if you are in Christ, let the Holy Spirit work the power and anointing in your life. Amen. Magtataka na nga lang. Ikaw eh. May pakagawa ang Diyos sa'yo. Makita mo ba ito ito ginagawa? Pero hindi mo ba alam? The Lord is pleased with you because through you, the gospel is preached outside. Amen. 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 Yes. And here is the power upon. So, the presence within you and the power upon you. It says in Acts 1.8, it says, but you will receive power. Amen. 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 Would you like to receive that? Yes. You will receive power yes. when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Ayan ang may, may pinapang eh, testimony si Elizabeth kanina na nag-worship siya sa separation. Sino ko ba? And then he feel the shalom peace and he wanted to cry and worship the Lord. That is real. Yeah. It's not fake. It's real to experience the presence of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The power. Are you still with me? Amen. Okay. The power steers you. Steers means to wake from sleep. Let's stir up. Like that. No wakers did. Or to arouse and activate the mind and understand them. This is the power steers us. The presence is still. The power steers. The presence steals you. And steals means in the Bible, be still and know that I am God. Psalm 4 to 16. Pagkayo'y may ginagaan ng 
problema. Ang banal na Espiritu sasabihin sa iyo, peace be still and know that I am God. Be still means stop striving. Be still means stop fighting. Hindi mo naman kailangan malinig na yung opinion mo. Be still and pray. Stop fighting. Relax. Sometimes, we have to agree with our adversary, no? Sabi ng, sabi ng, ano, ng, ng adversary. Sino bang adversary natin? Di ba? Ang masamang spirito? Yes. O, oh, meron tayong mabuting spirito. Ang masamang spirito ay kaaway, di ba? Minsan, bubulong ang kanya. Na, may nakapalit dati. Isang paling na nito, isang paling na nito, di ba? O kaya, tinapunan ka, tinroon ka ng problema. Temptation, di ba? Para na, ano ka sa sarili mo? Ano sabi na, then, the power steers you. That the power of God, anointing of God, upon you, in, uh, within you, and His presence. His presence goes with you, you know, wherever you are. The Holy Spirit's presence goes with you. Amen? Amen. So, sinabi, sabi, be still, sabi niya, stop. It also means, put your hands down. Stop. Be still and know that I am God. Amen. Do not read, ano? Read, read. Ano? Do not. Let us read. Kahit na umusog na yung tema mo sa kare. Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. You know, yung salitang hallelujah, that's very powerful. Amen. It comforts me. Hallelujah. Parang kung sa kayo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Para yun yung ano ko eh, yung salita ko na. You know? Amen. Subukan nyo lang. Sometimes we put our hands up to defend ourselves, di ba? Wag ka mo, wag mo lang kapo, ikaw ay masama sa akin. Mas! Masama ako sa iyo. Hindi mo po alam kung gaano ko masamang ka. Mabuti akong kaibigan, pero nakuha namin ay mag-exel. Huwag ang lulong-lulong. Di ba? Mas ang mga kong mga kristyano ka, nung pag-post mo ka sa Facebook. Sabi niya, Lord, love, love, love. Di ba? Sabi niya, Lord, di ba? Pagka ganun, ay, nakuha ka na, be still. Love, 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 love. Be still and know. Na ano na pag mga mahal sa buhay ang nakakasakit sa atin? Na ano na? Be still. Love them. Pray for them. Di ba? May ouch ouch dito. Ang saan yung pagkataon natin? Ouch ouch. Hindi lang naman kayo. Ako din naman. I'm still in the normal state. Amen. The power activates the gifts. Do you have the gifts? Do you know your gifts? The power activates that gifts. And the presence, you see the power, we are talking about the difference of the power and the presence, right? So the presence is the glory. When you use your gifts, there's a power, so therefore you use your gift, so the presence is the glory of God. When that power um, accelerate or, or manifest in Jesus' name, it is all for the glory of the Lord. Yeah. In the pray by the name of Jesus, be healed. Numumaneng, sino magibigay ng glory? Ay, salamat naman kini Isabel. Pinag-pray mo ako na wala na lang pasalamat sa Diyos. Di ba? Pag pinasalamatan ka, sabihin mo, you will tell the person, glorify, thank God, we glorify Him because it is the power of Him that heals you. It doesn't mean, ituturo nyo na yun pag nakatakot nyo na yun, ha? Eh kasi minsan may tendency na, oh my, di ba? Ay, hallelujah. Sige, isa susunod na rin. May mga ganun, no? Pero, if you, you put everything into place, where in the name of 
Lord Jesus wear that name of our Father, glorify us, not us. Amen. Amen. Kung kayo may mag-bless sa mga preaching na ito, am I be glorified? No, I give all the glory to Jesus because He is the one who showed me, He's the one who teach me, He's the one who filled me and downloaded to me what I'm preaching you now. Amen. Therefore, I give to Him the glory. I don't care. I don't care my bless God, but I give the glory to the Lord. And I pray for changes for all of you. Amen. And not for the enough, enough, uh, enough is enough for the devil to touch your life. Amen. And I stand in authority. I command the devil to flee in the name of Jesus in your life and set you free that you may enjoy the life that God has given you. Amen. Personal. 